Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, PS4 has released a system software update today, 4.50, and quite a lot of features have been revealed. Now, I have to admit, this is a megaton. External hard drive support is now available on the PS4. So no longer do you have to, you know, take out the hard drive within your console and swap it out. You just have to plug in an external hard drive and you are good to go. And of course, you can use a USB 3.0 port, so you're going to get um, extra space. Speed. I have to say this is a much welcomed addition to the PS4 and I know a lot of users myself included are going to be excited about this now as well you're gonna have custom wallpapers that you're gonna be able to apply to your background um, it's not really a big selling point for me but I'm sure there's other users out there that will appreciate this you're also gonna have a quick menu refresh so um, you know it's gonna be easier to get to uh, it's gonna be like a shortcut for the menu you know you don't have to go through the whole menu and you know it's gonna make things a lot quicker it's also gonna have a simplified notification list and you can post uh, you can post your PlayStation Network activity feeds I guess to your social medias and as well you're going it's gonna have support for 3d blu-rays on the PlayStation VR now this is exciting I'm I, I can't wait to try this out because I have a lot of um, 3d blu-rays I have uh, two three 3d TVs in my house and uh, I enjoy 3d content and uh, I can just imagine it's going to look awesome in the PlayStation VR. Now, there is another megaton that came out of this, and it's coming from uh, NeoGAF. Now, they were looking at the um, release features, and they didn't even discuss this on the official release notes. But there is actually a boost mode for the PS4 Pro. Now, you will have higher frame rates for old games that don't have a Pro patch. Now, this is excellent. So, you're going to be able to get... Uh, increased performance on your old games even if the developer did not patch so I know uh, fans out there that enjoy Bloodborne uh, Bloodborne you know the frame rate was kind of low at some points in the game you know even got down to like 18 frames per second now this boost mode should be able to help this game out now I got to say it's a lot of features uh, this these features didn't leak out it's, it's a complete surprise to most gamers and I have to say it's a welcome addition to the PlayStation 4 and I am excited about these features um, anything that makes it easier and and more accessible for gamers to play I'm down for it anyways I want to know what you guys think about this are you guys excited for these new features come to the PlayStation 4 or you think it's about time that they caught up to the Xbox one anyways I want to know what you guys think so please leave your comments down below I ask you guys to like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one